Jody, this is a great opportunity to ask you uh, if you have any suggestions or advice that you give to uh, someone that might find themselves as an adult orphan, things that might help them cope with their loss. So I'd be interested in hearing what, what thoughts you have. You know, a few years ago when I started to see so many individuals who have lost both their parents, I decided to create a group called the Branches of Hope. Okay. And, and in that group, we talk about the gifts that we have. Um, some of us have come from, you know, difficult backgrounds, and some of us have come from very happy, healthy homes. Right. In either of those situations, we all have gifts that mm -hmm. we have in our life because of our parents. Mm -hmm. they've, they've taught us everything we know, and, mm -hmm. and as I said, some of it could be through a good or a, a bad experience, but we've still learned something. So I encourage people to look at the gifts that they have in their mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and to use those gifts to share it with their family. I encourage um, them to share their stories and to op be open with communication. As I said previously, um, there might have been things that weren't allowed to be talked about. Mm -hmm. So to communicate openly, share stories, write them down, share mm -hmm. them with your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, we've also talked about um, having uh, family traditions, okay. maybe creating a recipe book. Mm -hmm. If there are certain family recipes that have been around forever, create that book and, and pass it along to families. Um, and also, you know, there's always seeking support and talking with somebody one-on-one -on -one or attending a support group. Okay. Um, one of my, my favorite references is a book <coughs> called The Orphaned Adult by Alexander Levy. It's a wonderful book for people to connect to. It's an easy read and they read it and start to feel like, oh, this is normal. Oh, okay because they feel everything's very different, and it really is. When yeah. you lose both mm -hmm. your parents, mm -hmm. it's very different. Mm -hmm. So in uh, so Alexander story. Levy's book, The Orphaned Adult, uh, it sounds very interesting. He, d mm -hmm. he talks about some of the things that people experience and actually right. normalizes those feelings and experiences. Right, right. So it's interesting that you talk about you know, sharing stories, uh, open communication. Those are really important tools. I love the idea of the recipe box. You're keeping mm -hmm. those uh, traditions alive. Any other things that you that you recommend? Any other kind of maybe visual, tangible things that people can do that can continue the uh, memory of their loved one? That might be a helpful tool. Right. Well, I think <clears throat> it's always nice to have like a memory box okay. or a scrapbook okay. of the life great. of your yeah. parents. Mm -hmm. I know myself. I always think I'm going to remember all these stories, mm -hmm. and I'm not good at mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. having a place where we can write those stories down okay. or um, just even pictures, you know, this okay, a photo sure. album, mm -hmm. um, or you know, when, at family gatherings, lighting a candle, or having the picture out of the parents in, in honor of them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Some people find that mm -hmm. to be comforting and helpful. Jody, in talking about family dynamics, we were talking about a family with siblings, and that's not always the case. Uh, I'd be interested to hear any of your thoughts about a person who is an adult orphan who's an only child. Uh, maybe some of the differences that they uh, experience um, in being uh, an only child and an adult orphan. Right, you know, it's something that we really don't think a whole lot of, about, actually. If we're surrounded by family and friends, that there are individuals out there who are only children. When they've lost their parents, they've also lost their story. Mm -hmm. They've lost their history. They have no one to share. Remember Christmas back in 1972 or remember the time when dad did blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They don't have anybody to <coughs> reminisce those stories with. Right. Um, so I encourage them to maybe keep a journal. I'm mm -hmm. always, you know, as I, I've said before, always um, encouraging people to look at the gifts in their life and how have they been inspired by the people who are in their life and um, their parents. So I would encourage them to do that. If they're married or they have very close friends, they might adopt that family as their family as well. Mm -hmm. And to just reach out to those people around you who love you mm -hmm. um, and, and not to isolate yourself. Okay. And of course, if there's, again, if there's struggles, always, always reach out to a professional if you feel like you need mm -hmm. to talk. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that, that you are encouraging a, a, an only child to do is to keep the memories alive, but when they don't have siblings, then to look t elsewhere, you know, look mm -hmm. to um, maybe their spouse or a friend or someone that they know well right. so that they right. can continue to keep their parents' memories alive. Because right. it so. can be a very alone time for mm -hmm. them. Again, sure. you know, they, most people who've lost their parents talk about feeling orphaned and not belonging. 
and if they have other siblings around, they have some kind of a support network. Right. Mm -hmm. um, those only children don't necessarily have that support network. So either reach out to a support network if you have one, or mm -hmm. maybe make an effort to, to find people who you can share right. with and, and to build your support network. Right. So, okay. You know, without a, without our parents, of course, we wouldn't be here. You know, right. whether we were adopted or we are, we were the biological child of our parents, we are here because of them, and we definitely want to find a way to mem remember them and carry their story with us as we move forward with our families. You know? Sure, sure, so important. And I, I also uh, like your suggestion, your comment. It's good food for thought. Uh, if, if families are struggling, if individuals are struggling, there are resources available Absolutely. to them. In addition to keeping the memory alive, there's counseling available. There right. are groups, as the one that you mentioned, uh, and um, there are places where they can sort through and maybe do some of the work that they need to do uh, to, to come to terms with, it, with it, being an adult orphan. Right. So and I think it's important, too, that people remember that this <clears throat> isn't something that's just going to end in a few months or a year. This is going to be a process, especially mm -hmm especially if there's been some damage in the family and some hurt feelings, mm -hmm. it's going to take a while. So I just encourage people to be patient and be patient with each other and mm -hmm. remember that everyone in your family is going to grieve differently. Mm -hmm. No two people in the family mm -hmm. will grieve the same over, the, over this particular loss. So just to try to be understanding and patient as they go through this journey. So again, be patient and recognize that this is a, a lifelong a process right. Yeah, right. Of, of grieving. and. Uh, of remembering. Absolutely. So, well, thank you so much, Jody. Thank you. And so many good uh, things uh, for us to take away from, from our conversation today. I appreciate your time.